Hello, all the lovely people. Good evening in our channel. So, guys, it's already made it nine late night, and I'm gonna talk about today about why every organization needs HR planning. So, guys, hopefully, you can enjoy this live. And in this live, I'm gonna talk about the important reasons for which every organization needs human resource planning are listed below. A large number of parcels are to be replaced in the organization because of retirement, old age, death, etc. After we'll need to prepare parcels for taking up new positions or such a contact ninjas. So there is always a labor turnover in every organization and if you have any question please do comment below i'll try to replay and please subscribe our channel sharif ahmed lalon and guys please subscribe our channel sharif ahmed lalon this is our educational channel hopefully you can enjoy every videos in our channel so hello my dear students oh, students So guys, what is job? We are quite familiar with this term, job. And from the Bible and to the late age, we are here this word job. But what is actually job? So a job is an occupation, it's person's role in the society. And more specifically, a job is an activity of a regular and often performed in exchange for payment. Many people have multiple jobs. A person can begin a job by becoming an employee, volunteering, starting a business or becoming a parent. The durations of job may range for temporary. So an activity that requires a person mental or physical effort is work if a person is trained for a certain type of job they may have a profession typically a job would be a subset of someone's career the two may differ in that one it usually deters from their career versus recognize what are the job characteristics <coughs> so a job is a tax or piece of work or it indicate a positions an employee is paid so according to the definitions of a job mentioned above there are five job elements that it is adjusted to an individual's personal can make a real difference to job satisfaction these five elements include number one is skill variety workers experience more meaningfulness in jobs that require several different skills and abilities than when the work is basic and routine Number two, task identity. This is when an employee can identify and complete a piece of work with a visible outcome. So employees experience more job meaningfulness when they are involved in the entire process rather than just being responsible for part of the work. Task significance. This is the degree to which the job affects other people's lives. Employees feel more meaningfulness in a job that substantially improves the psychological or physical well-being of others than one that has limited impact on anyone else. And the autonomy, this is how much the job provides employees with significant freedom, independence, and discretion to plan their work and the procedures involved. What are the feedback, guys? So the feedback is when work. Guys, please do comment below at first. I would like to reply your all the comments at late night in right now. So don't miss it, our videos, and please watch our every videos in this that feedback. The workers receive clear information about their work performance. They have better knowledge of how they are going in their job and what specific actions they need to take to improve their productivity. <laughs> so guys, definition of job analysis. So job analysis is the procedure for determining the duties and skill requirements, the job and the kind person who should hire for it. Of course, job analysis is a process of identifying 
obtaining information about them and then determine traits or customers process the property and the responsibility of the various position so guys this is our today's video hopefully you can enjoy this video goodbye see you tomorrow with a new video